So it, ha it so happens that it's not just the flag bearers of the party that are campaigning, their spouses are also on the campaign grounds trying to canvass votes for, you know, their husbands. In this case, we're going to the camp of the NPP. Second Lady Samira Baumia has urged voters in the Ijura Sechodumasi constituency in the Ashanti region to reconsider their long-standing support for the NDC and vote for the new patriotic party in the coming elections if they want development. Speaking to party members during a health walk and campaign launch in the Ijura, Samia argued, or oh, I beg your pardon, she urged that the opposition party has repeatedly failed to deliver on its promise despite the overwhelming support that the constituents almost always give to the party, asking them to change their minds now. I'm on your son, yeah, yeah, because you have a development. I want to buy it to you, and see if I call your tribute. I just said you do my say, how dear. My name is Samuel Crow, and I didn't see a bed snaha. I'm a NDC, I'm a cash ray, and say, yeah, dear, yeah, more bra, and pray, and she, yeah, that's me, and I'm NDC, I did be a. So it's interesting that the Ashanti region in its entirety, very few constituencies belong to the NDC or has been won by the NDC. One of them is this particular one, Jurassic Chedumas, where the second lady currently is. Let's engage Ibrahim Abubakar, our correspondent, who is following this particular issue for us. Ibrahim, good afternoon. Thank you for your time. So what else has the second lady been saying and what has the response been from a typical NDC constituency in the Ashanti region? Well, um, she is... Um Conversing for vote there, and for the, this time around, the NPP wants to win that seat. We all know that, like you said, Edra is one of the four seats the NDC is holding firmly here in the Ashanti region. And mind you, in 2012, even though NDC has won it, in 2012, the NPP won the seat by around, around 400 votes or so. And since 2016, the NDC has taken it back. But this time around, um, clearly you can see that the NPP is investing in terms of resources hugely just so they will be able to win this seat. But the NDC is not perturbed. In fact, it, it is even looking out to expanding the gap um, so that it will win overwhelmingly in the area. But like you said, Ashanti again, uh, we have most of the political parties currently here campaigning. And Samira too moving from Edra to other constituency. And this time around, they are just telling the people that if they look at the loyalty that they have um, given to the NDC and you compare it with their development, it appears uh, when it comes to development, they are lagging behind. So if they really want to see um, significant changes in terms of development, then they will have to vote for Dr. Baumia and also. Fifteen Doma, who is the um, parliamentary candidate for the NPP in that area. So mm. now both NDC and NPP have intensified their campaign, especially in Nigeria and some selected constituencies. And um, well, and and, like and, and Abraham, so so the yes, the, the the parties are speaking to the electorates. What are the responses you've gathered from some of the electorates? Are they in tune? Where are they likely to swing in, in terms of voting? Well, this time around, Martin, interestingly, uh, most of the voters say their vote will be based on development. What the people can say to assure them of development. This time around, they are not going strictly uh, to party lines. So if they believe that you have what it takes to bring them the development that they need, then, of course, they will give you their vote. But, of course, we know there are others who also vote on party line, but the few that have engaged with, uh, at least those who do not belong to party A or party B, are saying that this time around, they will have to assess um, their current situation, who can really um, help them when it comes to development, so they give, they give their vote to that person. 
Right, Ibrahim, thank you so much for that update. Ibrahim Abubakar joining us from the Ashanti region, helping us understand what's happening in the Jurassic Chedumasi constituency. This is Election 360. Let's go on to the campaign trail now and also find out what's happening in the camp of Professor Nana Jane Pokwajeman, who is the NDC's um, running mate. And she is on a week-long campaign tour in the Ahafu. Bono and Northeast regions. She has been meeting with chiefs and opinion leaders and some party supporters to outline the NDC's vision going into the December polls and rallying support for the NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama and its parliamentary candidate. Evelyn Tengma is our reporter who's been on the trail of the, um, the NDC's running mate and uh, has joined us. Evelyn, good, uh, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us on Election 360. To start with, Tell us where the NDC's uh, running mate has been uh, so far. Trump is currently in the Ahafu region, and first of all, she visited the Nogbeko community in the Isunapo South constituency, where she met the chiefs and opinion leaders there. Now, and later she addressed a gathering in the community. Now, the chiefs uh, mentioned that there have been some abandoned projects, um, such as roads, school infrastructure, hospital infrastructure, among others, and that she, they appeal to POP that when the NDC is voted to power, they should um, try as much as possible to address some of these issues for them. Now, POP and the MP for Isnafo South, um, Eric Opoku, have also been addressing the gathering, and of course, they're basically asking um, the community members to vote massively for the NDC and um, the NDC flag bearer, and their parliamentary candidates as well, so that... Right, right. So, so yeah, so Evelyn, clearly we know that uh, it's going to be a very busy day where you are. Uh, also tell us about the message and the reception from the electorate, the, the gathering there. Fourth is still in the Ahafu region, and to be specific, the Gosso Midwifery and Nursing Training School, uh, where she has been addressing the students here. And of course, it has to do with education. Now, what she is basically saying is that the NPP government has messed up the education sector. And so she is saying that when the NDC comes to power, they will try to reset their whole education sector and make it better. Now, she also addressed issues of um, allowances and uh, that the students complained that the allowances have not been forthcoming for months. And so uh, she promised that when the NDC comes to power, they will try as much as possible to address some of these issues for them. And so she's asking that they vote massively for the NDC to come to power. So from here, um, Prof will go into other constituencies in the region, and then after that, she will go to the Bono region and to the Bono East region for her one-week campaign tour in these regions. <laughs> Right, thank you, Evelyn, for that report. She is on the campaign trail with the NDC's running mate in the Bono. Bono East and Ahafu regions. 